All right, guys, I'm here with a bit of information for Drag Mall Legends. So the official Drag Mall Legends Twitter accounts have tweeted out the promotional video leading into the 2023 Legends Festival. Now, of course, we've had a ton of speculation as to what we can expect to see during part one of the Legends Festival. And it seems as if we're all in a common consensus that it's going to be Universe Survival Saga. Well, I don't know about you guys, but from this video that they just tweeted out, if that doesn't guarantee that this is Universe Survival Saga, I have no idea what else could. So, the official Dragon Ball Legends Twitter account tweeted out the promotional video that they've been, like, you know, kind of teasing every single day. And it says, Big reveal is coming tomorrow at 1400 UTC. At last, it's time to get all the latest info on Legends Festival 2023. Watch the premiere and get hyped for the coming celebration. The video URL will be shared later on our official social media accounts. Now, uh, I don't know if it's safe for me to actually put out this video because it's tweeted by Bandai. So like it, it, if it seems safe enough, I'll include it in this video. If not, I'll probably just have like a screenshot or something. But pretty much the way how the video is structured is it shows uh, a person outside at a park. I'm assuming it's like a father with his kids or something and he's playing Dragon Ball Legends. Now, the first hint that you guys see is the team that not only the person is utilizing minus one character, but also the team that the opponent is using as well. And on both teams, they are using units from, you know, the Universe Survival Saga. Minus one character, and that is Pan from GT for very obvious reasons. GT and Super are two different continuities. So, of course, that's the one exception. But for the most part, though, it does show that it's going, or at least part one anyway, should be Universe Survival Saga. But even backs it up even further is, apart from the units that we actually saw, they kind of teased what to expect leading towards the end of the video. So, again, we see a person playing Dragon Ball Legends on his phone, and you see units from Universe Survival Saga. From there, it zooms out from the park and all the way into space. And from space, you see Earth. And then past space, well, past Earth, I should say, you see another planet. And then after the planet, then, you know, you start to see um, like more things, obviously, uh, within space. And it zooms even further out from there to the point where you see galaxies. And then from that point, at the very end, it shows what but what lies beyond that. And there's only one thing that lies beyond a galaxy, and that's the universe. So and, and that's actually true. Like literally, if you if you look it up what lies beyond galaxies, the universe. So it's very obvious that part one is going to be universe survival saga. Now that even gets further solidified at the fact that LF full power Jiren got a Zenkai awakening and the hint we had yesterday where people are still speculating whether or not it's Golden Frieza. And I've seen people say that it could be Kefla as well, which does make sense. I'm still leaning towards Golden Frieza, but I'm not opposed to Kefla either. But, again, it's just, if this doesn't solidify that it's Universe Survival Saga, something is seriously wrong, right? But, there is one thing that I'm curious about. Remember, all of this that we've seen in, you know, the tweets that they've let out throughout the past few days and, like, all the promotion, obviously all of this is for some sort of, like, end goal concerning the game, right? All of it has some sort of importance. So I don't want to kind of throw something to the side when in truth, it could hold some importance. And I generally don't think that what I'm about to say is a stretch. But the fact that the person playing Dragon Ball Legends was using all Universe Survival Saga units and the opponent was using all Universe Survival Saga, uh, Saga units, but there was that one exception and that exception was Pan GT? I don't know about you guys, but that has to like be a hint towards something GT related happening during Legends Festival. And if there's one thing that everybody has been wanting to see, it is a new Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. When it comes down to it at the end of the day anyway, because last Legends Festival, we ended up getting tagged Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta, which that unit was fantastic, right? But if there was a 
confused warrior that we just didn't get in a long while apart from Gogeta Blue and also a few Samasu have corrupted. It would be Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta because we only have one unit of him in the game and that was from the third anniversary. Ironically, Fuzumasu Half Corrupted is also in that same boat because he also released during the third anniversary. He was the second headliner. So the fact that they had Pan GT on there has to be a hint towards us actually getting Ultra, hopefully, Ultra Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, which I'm completely all down for. And not only that, but when it comes down to Fusion Warrior specifically, they could use, actually, I mean, Fusion Warrior, they could use a new yellow unit because Super Vegito is outdated. They could use a new blue unit because Super Gogeta is outdated. Um, they could really use a new green unit. I shouldn't even have to explain why. So, it, well, and actually, I mean, we did have like lots of Zenkais. Well, okay, I can't say lots, but we did have that Zenkai for um, Super Gogeta, the green unit. So... There is hope. Granted, it'd be weird if that Gogeta ends up being a green unit, because then both Super Saiyan 4 Gogetas we would have in the game would be green units. But then again, look at Golden Frieza, right? Because, like, lots of Golden Frieza units are green units. I mean, Piccolo's kind of in the same boat a little bit, because, like, a few Piccolo units were yellow units. So, I don't know. But I do believe that that does hold significance, and that it's probably, like, a slight hint towards what to expect for the like in the future of the 2023 legends festival and i do believe that that could potentially hint towards us getting an ultra super saiyan 4 gogeta potentially i generally don't think that that's a reach but obviously anything's possible they can completely hit us from like something out of left field and we just have no idea just what to expect all around but i do believe that this is a time to get excited because remember or at least as of this recording, because Daily Reset already happened and all that good stuff. Uh, just consider today like the 22nd, right? The reveals and stuff will be happening on the 23rd. In the morning as well, if I'm not mistaken. So, once that day comes, then obviously we will know everything that is coming for part one of the 2023 Legends Festival. Again, I'm still holding firm saying that we're going to be getting Golden Frieza. I do believe that we will be getting tagged Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Super, or well, Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Evolved Vegeta and probably a few extra units as well, just for part one. Uh, part two, I'm hoping that we get future. I really hope that we get future just because of the fact that uh, one, it's like it, it's been around for Legends Festival for a while, but not only that, but again, much like with Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, Fusamasu is a unit that, well, Fusamasu have corrupted specifically, is a unit that has only been in the game once, and we've never gotten a new iteration of him ever since. So the way how I would like to see it would be, um, it would be a Universe Survival Saga, Future, and then GT. I think that would be a good way to uh, kind of end off the Legends Festival if we get, you know, Tag Super Saiyan Blue, Kaoken Goku, and Super Saiyan Blue Evolved Vegeta, a new fuse of Masu have corrupted, and then ending it off with Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, because again, it knocked out kind of like the big sagas in the game, and Fusion Warrior would finally get another buff, because a lot of those units are pretty outdated. So, again, that's just like my speculation, but we are so close to the reveals and stuff, and then don't forget, Legends Festival starts on Friday. So, be excited because I know good and well, I'm going crazy on that banner. Look, if you have saved your crystals, it's Legends Festival. Spend those crystals. It is time. <laughs> do not save them. It is absolutely time. But I do want to know what you guys think about all of this in the comment section below. But with that being said, I'm Medikuba. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.